Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. Hope everybody's having a good day and a good Sunday and doing things that need to get done or what you guys want to do. I know, there's no more football. It, it just feels like, oh, I don't know what to do with myself some days. But uh, today we are working on my big Chinese women. I, I think that's what it's called. I can't even remember. I've had this thing for so long. But uh, I thought I'd get it out and see if we could work on it a little bit. I needed to fill in some gaps there. Good gravy. It's just one of those days. I thought uh, I would download this, or not download, but um, tape this video. And then when I got home, we'll have a Sunday night late edition. And you can see it then, because I don't have time. I just decided to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to go and get my check and then cash it and and then go to the grocery store and stop by my daughter's house. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's been a morning. But, uh, and I just, I sat there and watched, uh, a floss tube episode and it lasted for two hours it was absolutely great so I watched it from beginning to end and uh, I know it has nothing to do with diamond painting and we hadn't diamond painted in a while so I thought oh what the heck we can diamond paint because I didn't feel like getting out my stitching I've been working on uh, his eyes on the sparrow I did that I think it was yesterday before I went to work because last night, by the time I got home, I was trashed. I only wart, or slept a, a few hours, and I was just tired. So I didn't get it out because I knew I'd screw it up. And I just didn't feel like doing much of anything. I watched Grey's Anatomy for a couple hours and went to bed. Just over it. But uh, I went to the store today, and I bought one of their... Uh, roasted chickens that they have and they were they're like seven bucks i thought you know that that sounds really good and it's cooked and it'll last for a day or two and i bought some nice um whole wheat bread i can't find the drill i'm looking for oh my goodness let's see three eight six five three eight six five um so I might be able to make a chicken sandwich out of part of the. I'm not a. I'm not fond of the, uh, the breast part of that. I like the legs and the thighs. So, Molly and I chowed down on some, some roasted chicken. She loves chicken. I used to when I worked in the deli at the grocery store. I would bring home fried chicken every once in a while, and oh, she had to have her own leg because you know she'd just sit there and scarf it down just like her mama and then I kind of got over chicken and I haven't bought chicken like that you know already made and prepared in a really long time because it just didn't appeal to me so yeah but I got roasted chicken and I bought a small container of southern potato salad I don't know what the hell the difference is myself. I mean, well, I usually don't put mustard in my potato salad, and nobody in my family ever did. Uh, maybe a little bit, but not to the extreme that some people like it. Um, but this was kind of a sweet potato salad, so I just called it regular potato salad, but they called it southern potato salad. And it was good, so I had that and shared a, a piece of chicken with the dog. And so I had a good lunch. I'll probably be asleep by 3 o'clock today. I'll have to keep going. Hang on, guys. Gotta pick this up. Or... Oh, now it's gonna stick to... Sorry, my bad. It was gonna stick to the canvas. I like this because it's a, a poured glue. 
I just love the colors in it. Despite that crazy background that was like 15 bags of 2,000, it's it's amazing. But it, it goes together really well. I don't work on it very often. But I thought I'd just get it out and do something different today. Been doing a lot of stitching, so. And I like working on my diamond paintings every once in a while, so. We just need a change of pace. That's what we needed. So. Other than that, I haven't been working on anything. I have to. Of course, the bank's closed tomorrow, so it will be all the way till about Tuesday before I can order anything. And, you know, get that ordered. I wanted to order a smaller, shall we say, um, long dog samplers or stitchers. I, I can't ever keep it straight. I have the worst time with names. Just absolutely the worst time. Because I like samplers, so I don't know if that's why I always add that to them. Or if it's actually stitchers, and I like to stitch, so I can't figure it out. I know. If I go over there and look, I, I don't know. But, so, needless to say, there won't be anything until the the beginning of the, the week after, so. That's okay. I want it, like I started to say with that whole conversation, sorry, was I wanted to get one that wasn't... Um, quite as involved as Death by Cross Stitch to begin on um, what do you call it? Leap Year because they have a long dog Leap Year Sal on Instagram. No, I don't have Instagram um, that I wanted to get a long dog and see if I could finish it in under four years. <laughs> It'll take me ten to get through the one I'm on now. But no, maybe other parts won't be as bad as this part. I mean, it's not bad. It's just slow going. I'm just trudging through it. And it's not nearly as fun to stitch as I thought it would be. You know, I wish I could break it down in my mind. I'm, I may still, you know, but I don't know. I'm having a heck of a time of seeing. It's not like, I guess that's where I'm going. It's not like his eyes on the sparrow where it's like separate little motifs and you can do those. It's, you know, it's more of a full coverage type thing. And I guess that's what's kind of driving me batty. So we'll, we'll see. It might be a small sampler when I'm done with it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, goodness. I'm tired already. I'm ready to go take a nap, but no time for naps today. Sometimes I, when I'm off, you know, work for three days, I'll take a nap every day in one of those days. And don't ask me why. And sometimes it's later in the day than usual. And I don't know. Just kind of off my my schedule so to speak but I'll lay down for a couple good couple hours sometimes I'm even tired than that and I'll sleep for three hours but I think you need to catch up on your rest where you know you're not pressured to hurry up and go to work or hurry up and you've got appointments or whatever to meet and just take that time I mean god it's just a nap and everybody needs a nap every once in a while. I mean, I know since I've gotten, God, in the past 15 years of my life, um, I have taken way more naps than I used to. Of course, I was always that kid that came home from kindergarten, you know, because it was half a day at that time. And I'd sleep for an hour, you know, and if I couldn't sleep, They'd make me just lay there, you know, and just be quiet, you know, for that hour time. But I always seem to need that to keep going. But I've never had 
like heart problems or blood prop. you know. Like I said, my mother had anemia, and uh, she was always on B12 shots and, and stuff to boost her immune system and her, her blood, you know. But they never diagnosed me as that, but I just always seemed to need more sleep than, than others. And I would go to bed like at 10 o'clock at night and get up maybe at 6 in the morning. So I just needed extra rest, I guess. And some things just never, ever change. I'm trying to get it on there and miss the... The tripod over here. I'm afraid I'm going to knock it over. I need to get some more of those drills, but, you know, we're not going there today. It's too much effort. Oh, God. Of course, I put the, uh, what do you call it? The diamond painting tub, which is like, let me look at it. It's probably two and a half to three feet long and about, you know, as wide as a tub. So, what is that, a foot and a half wide? Oh, my God. And it's on the bottom, and it's deep. It must be pretty close to two feet deep. And it's full of, not full, but... It has a lot of diamond paintings in it, but it's what area is going with that. See, I keep having sparkly squirrels. Um, the uh, cross stitch one, which is chuck full, and it should have been a different size as far as that goes. Whoops. Well, let's just move everything around here. Good gravy. Okay, everybody back in your little hole there. Um is full of cross stitch like the the stamped cross stitch stuff because I don't have a stash of material or anything because I haven't been doing counted cross stitch at all so I just get you know whatever fabric I'm gonna use for whatever project so I don't have a stash of that yet but it's just that tub on top is twice as small but it's filled with those pre-stamped kits that I bought last year and uh, it's kind of heavy and I hate to have to move it was what see I made a long story really longer than it should have been so sorry I have a problem with that sometimes I overtell the story and it takes forever to get to the point so you'll have to forgive me whoops there's one right oh I see why I didn't touch it. Well, we're just going to lift the plastic and put the two there so I don't have to get it out again. guess we're working on the, the bushes in the background here. I just love this painting when I bought it. It's just gorgeous. Just absolutely stunning. Where is my color? This is uh, DMC number 907. I like that green. It goes really well in spring themed stuff. But I've been kind of camping out in the stitching realm for probably a month now. I just haven't wanted to diamond paint very much or just sporadically. It's like I got everybody else started on it in my family, that is, when I say that. Um, and Now I just don't have the the want to do it, you know. I just get tired of doing things. I don't know how I ever painted for seven years. I guess it was all I knew, so that's all I did. I painted thousands and thousands of pictures. But, I don't know, it, it worked for the while. And then I was off and running with diamond painting, so. I'm trying to get these ones over here that are semi. Keep finding little drills where they shouldn't be. I don't want to go any further than that. But the trees are turning out nice. Let's see what the color of that arrow thing is. 
because that'll really pick it up. I better look at the arrow before I get there. It's 9.05. It's a darker green, of course. Kind of a Kelly green, I guess. That's what you want to call it, or dark olive green. And I've got this small boat. It's about to drive me insane. We can use the multiplacer for a change. For a change. I'd really make some progress if I just worked on it. I've worked on Hope Runs Deep until I can't even hardly look at it anymore. It's, it's not almost done. I'd say we got a good foot left. Or less. I mean, less than 12 inches. Tried to fit it in a hole that was way too small there. And I haven't bought a diamond painting since I bought Jewel. I think that was the last one that I bought from Diamond Art Club. So, I've got plenty. It's not like I don't have anything to, to diamond paint. It's just a matter of what I want to work on. And this was just sitting there and looking kind of neglected, so... I thought, well, I'll just pull that out. Because there wasn't a hundred things on top of it, like normal. That I usually keep the ones that I'm working on, you know, like right on top. And I don't want to have... And some this one, I think, is too big to fit in that tub I was talking about. So, some of them I don't want to put there. I just roll them back up so that, you know, they don't get stuff on them and nobody goes by there but me. It's not like I have a cat crawling all over everything and Molly, she wouldn't jump onto that table if her life depended on her because she's scared of her own shadow and something would inevitably fall and freak her out. So I don't really don't have to worry about anybody touching that table. I go past it about once or twice a month when I'm looking for something. I still never did find that flannel that I was, not flannel, felt, felt that I was looking for. So, which irritates the heck out of me. I need to get into that studio, but it's usually cold in there in the winter. So I have to do it in the spring. And I'm just going to take everything out and repack the stuff that's got shoved in there. Because I had to move everything to get this table set up when I bought it and it's huge and I want, didn't want everything on the table I didn't know if I was going to use it setting up to do diamond painting or not so I just crammed everything into individual like what do you call it liquor boxes oh it's like what happened to that drill it was right there well, that gives it a little bit more definition don't it hmm Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. One sixty five. I don't think there's any Aurora Borealis. Um, what do you call it? Drills in this at all. And I got this, I think, from Mion. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know that it says anywhere. And if it did, it was someplace else. Got Pion? Yeah, it doesn't say one way or the other. I just liked it. I had to have it. Diamond painting by uh, Pearl. Oops, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I had to make sure I was on the right one. Um, got one like this, and I just, I saw it, and I go, yep, got to have it. And I don't, uh, this and the Great Wall are the two biggest ones that I have. Not unlike my stitch things, I've probably got four that are, four or five that are huge. That I just love to stitch on, but, you know. 
there's not going to be enough lifetimes to work on them. Could you just reserve that for my next lifetime and say, hey, stupid, you already bought these, so here, you can have these from your last life. Yeah, that'd be great. You just kind of pick up where you, you left off, know how to do it. And you could start at like age five because otherwise you're still never going to get it done. Then you just pass it on to the next life. By then, nobody will care. Oh, geez. Funny. Weird stuff you think about when you're diamond painting. It makes you reflect deeply. All right, well, we got all that done. These stupid little drills, it needs to be uh, rolled. Not rolled, but rolled with a, like a, the rolling pin. It has good glue. Just I keep running over it with my hand, and it's been sitting there for a while. So the drills need to be adjusted. I just think it's beautiful. And it shines and sparkles because it's a round. Oh, I can only imagine what this would look like in a square, but I wasn't quite that brave. I mean, dream about did me in for the squares, but I still like doing them. I think the definition looks really good. All right, guys. Well, I know that was kind of short and sweet, but... Uh, Thank you for watching and joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. You all have a good rest of your your sat, oh, excuse me Sunday and weekend. Oh, and I guess it is a long weekend because it's a holiday weekend. And God bless. Bye-bye.